I'm Lynn Belisle in my studio and today we're going to talk about collage on canvas. I have some examples here. This is one of my favorite ways to do collage. This is a fairly elaborate example. These are using my clay shards, earthenware shards, sewn and pasted and adhered to two sets of canvas. We're going to be working with more traditional materials today, however. We're going to start with a central image and we're going to sew and otherwise adhere other kinds of objects to it to create kind of a new environment. This one has stones and rusted metal and pieces of a broken fan. You can also use your personal photographs for this to really personalize it. But to start off, you're going to need the canvas itself. I like to use these small canvases. This is a 12 by 12 and you'll notice that it's fairly thin. It makes it easy to sew through the canvas because you don't have very wide stretchers on the back and so all of this center space is available for punching or sewing or otherwise adhering. But we want to put a ground on it first. And normally I don't suggest that you start with black acrylic but we are going to do that for this particular background. We're going to start light however. You're going to choose a neutral color. I've picked yellow ochre, and you're going to put some of that on your palette. And you'll notice here, I have a cup of black. You're going to start kind of outward from the center with straight yellow ochre, or whatever neutral color you choose, and turn your canvas as you paint. So start here, turn it, you're creating kind of a background in the round. And as you go out, you're going to add a tiny bit of black so that you're going to darken it in increments. You can see that this is just a little bit darker. Don't worry about blending too much because this is going to be covered by objects and pictures. But you want to have a background space that's cohesive. We'll add a little more black to this. And the idea is, by the time you get to your edges, it will be almost completely black. So we're turning and painting, turning and painting. And you'll notice I'm using a sponge brush. I've gotten to like sponge brushes for background painting. They seem to do a pretty good job pretty quickly. Put some pure black here just to get it darker faster as it reaches the edges. Don't forget to turn it so you get it evenly applied. Put a little more of the gold ochre in. You can use any color for your neutral. You could even use a green or a blue. But don't forget, it's not going to show very much. You just want to cover it and create kind of an atmospheric background. So we're down to the edges now, and we're turning. And the thing you want to definitely do is to get the black paint on the edges of the canvas. Try and cover up most of the spaces, and then with your sponge brush, when you get to the edges, just quickly over the edges. So in case you don't use a frame on these, your edges will still look clean. So turn it and paint. Turn it and paint. Try not to be messy like I am. And then, as soon as your edges are painted, you can put it back down and see if you want to do a little more blending. My design teacher in college said that people always look at the corners, so kind of get your corners neat. And then put it down, and you can go back and do a little secondary blending on the canvas, maybe with a little bit of paint. And then you're going to set this, uh, set this aside and let it dry. A white spot. Don't worry about the center. You can cover it if you want to. Just don't make it too dark. And now we have... a blended atmospheric ground for our collage and we can start thinking about how to make this into its own little microcosm. I'll be right back. <laughs> 